So background, um, our group, uh, our group means uh, NBDC, National Revive Database Center, and the uh, Database Center for Life Science, the organizers of this hackathon meeting, is uh, learning um, NBDC DBCLS by hackathon meeting for about 10 years. And uh, the mission is to integrate the life science database resources and to be reusable and uh, more efficiently used. So the impr improvement of the standardization and the interoperability of databases is, is uh, our major uh, interest. And uh, so to achieve that, we have been using the semantic web technologies and uh, we are promoting the RDF-based data resources and the development of applications and ontologies. Um, so let's look back to the past by hackathons. So what what is the origin of the by hackathon? Is this one? Um, so in 2002, uh, Open Bioinformatics Foundation organized uh, organized the first by hackathon meeting in Arizona, US, and uh, that at that time the main topic was to integrate the uh, uh, to to improve the interoperability of the open bio libraries like uh, BioPal, BioRuby, BioPython, BioJava. And uh, as a BioRuby developer founder, I was invited to the first BioHackathon meeting in the 2002, and uh, I was so mm, influenced, and uh, I found that the BioHackathon style meeting is very efficient to collaborate with developers and researchers. So I, uh, started the, this hackathon meeting 10 years ago. Um, so, and uh, all the, those hackathon meetings are distributed around the Japanese islands. So we visited many places every year. And uh, so this is um, the 11th meeting. And uh, I hope that, that this one is gonna be uh, Again, that's a successful by hackathon meeting. Mm -hmm. um, um, yes, and uh, but uh, this as, this eleventh meeting was not promised. As Professor Kohara said, that uh, it was not promised. But uh, yeah, we can now congratulate to have this one. But uh, so to secure the continuation of the hackathon meeting, I asked the Elixir to collaborate in, um, in, the, in the case of the, we lost the budget for continuing the hackathon. So that is why the, this year we had a uh, European version of the Bi hackathon meeting in Paris last um, November. Okay, so let me just skip this. And uh, here is a list of uh, previous publications of the past hackathons, but um, unfortunately the 2015's uh, submission was kind of rejected, so we need to reconsider how to make a uh, faster publication procedure and a uh, lighter way. Maybe we can try some open access um, review free journals or something else. Okay, and the future works from the land from the past 10 years is uh, so we can now extend our field of the bioinformatics to uh, from genomics to multiomics and the biomedical applications and uh, uh, more fine-grained bioinformatics algorithms or analysis <coughs> applications. And uh, we are also focusing on the reproducible science and, and the workflows to support it. And um, so to promote those uh, new areas, uh, we are now starting the collaboration with the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health in global uh, in uh, international collaboration, and uh, also with the AMED, uh, Japanese uh, Agency for Medical Research and Development. Uh, to push more biomedical applications based on the, our standardized and interoperable datasets. And Elixir. So here is uh, some photos from uh, last year. That, uh, yes, and uh, one, oh, I have just one minute, so let 
mm, which part we should I should two, two minutes. Okay, so uh, in the NIH strategic plan for data science, the says that the biomaticians are wasting their time, 80% of the, their time for data preparation over data conversion. So uh, we can use RDF data sets to reduce that uh, waste of the time. Um, if you need a data, the data is already stored and uh, informed. And uh, all those heterogeneous data sets are described in, uh, with uh, ontologies and uh, globally, uh, we, with uh, globally unique identifiers. And so you can use those data sets already. So here you have a nucleotide sequence archive, annotated sequences, and genomes, and the proteins, and the protein structures, compounds, gene expression samples, and the biomedical data sets like a cancer uh, genome consortiums, or drug disease, um, drug gene interactions, or the annotated variants, uh, glycome, proteomes, such as um, omics databases and pathways and others. So all those uh, major bioinformatics data resources are already converted to RDF, so you can just start to use it. And uh, so all those uh, different databases are interconnected um, ideally with the identifiers.org URIs. And uh, so, as I said, we just started the collaboration between two major by Parkinson meetings starting from this year. So last month we visited in Paris to uh, see and uh, to attend the uh, Eric Sabah Parkinson meeting and uh, there were uh, almost 30 sub-projects like this. And, uh, Hours were 20 sides, but uh, so there are a lot of people and a lot of projects. Um, yeah, like this. So this is great news for us that uh, our culture. Uh, this is not our original culture, but uh, I imported from the OBF, Open Biomatics Foundation. But uh, this culture is uh, returned to Europe again. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we did some work, and uh, yeah, there were some leisure and uh, sakes. And uh, I brought a uh, souvenir from the organizers, like a sinker uh, statue, and I brought it here. And okay, so we uh, explained some applications we have already developed, and uh, yeah. So, but that uh, time is up. So <laughs> let me talk about this later. Okay. So we have a lot of tools and uh, data sets you can use now. So okay, that's it basically. Okay. So thank you for listening. And uh, in this session, we couldn't have uh, any question and answering time. So let's move on to the next speaker. You can link them there. <laughs> Thank you.